Hey, it's me, and I had a couple requests as to how I make my screencast videos. Um, I use a software here called ScreenFlow for Mac. Uh, similar software would be Camtasia, which I believe is also available for Mac or for PC. I prefer ScreenFlow. Uh, I think it's like $99 for um, a one-time license. And this lets you record your screen, record your audio. It can record multiple monitors. You can also plug in a device and record that device as well. So uh, here, this is my screen that I recorded. And here is the uh, audio that went with that. And um, I have also my webcam here, which I'm not going to show because of my hair day. And then <laughs> I also have my iPhone here, which I've, I've already plugged that into my... Um, you know, if I were to plug that into the editor down here, okay, then you'd see that uh, my iPhone would also be displayed. Uh, let's see. I thought that was the background. Oh, because it needs to be the foreground. Like that, you see. Okay, so I'm going to put that off to the side for now. You can shrink things down and scale things around and rotate and whatever else, right? All right, so I'll just put that over here for a moment. And then what I do is when I record, uh, I put this, these nice big spaces in between when I record, so that way I can crop things out. And here I recorded just the interaction on the Glide webpage. But then what I did was I mocked up the background by creating a shape. So I'll show you how to do that. Over here, I just create a new shape. I'll create a rectangle. And then for that rectangle, I pick the color that matches that glide background, like that. And then I bring that background to the back and expand it all the way to the length of the video. Afterwards, I crop my glide webcast here, so that way only the border of the phone is showing. So within the software, I'll just crop it, and I always forget what the dimensions are. Close enough, something like that, right? And I just center this kind of on the page, and then I'm gonna take my background and expand it. So now it looks like it's the only thing that's on the page. And then I can scale my phone, make it you know the full width here. And so then actually my screencast here is just me interacting with the website, but it looks like it's just me on the phone here, right? Like so. Uh, and then I just, you know, I listen to it, I crop out the unwanted parts. All right, so like here, well here I got some audio. Anyone who wishes to save your mind simply scan the QR code with their own device. All right, and then what I'll do is I would uh, select my start time and end time for the crop, and then I would just delete that and compact it, like so. All right. Now, I also had another device, my iPhone here, which I wanted to display, but I didn't want, I also wanted this to make it look a little prettier with a border, so I found just a template of an iPhone border like so. I bring that in. Oh, I'm done. Okay, here we go. Um, and then I want this iPhone border, right, and this to be the same thing. So I just kind of line it up. Actually, did pretty well on the very first try, didn't I? Nice. Um, and I group them together so they become one object by grouping. Okay, so now I can move this item around. It looks like my phone. All right. So here, when I showcase how to scan a QR code, to save your mind card, we'll simply scan the QR code with their own device. All right. So that's where I want this to enter. So I don't need any of the rest of it. All right. So now that I put the transition in, it looks like the phone's coming out of nowhere and then scanning this QR code. Device. All right. Now I want to position this so that way it shows up right over the phone. Right, and then this shows that I'm on my MacBook and not my phone, so I want to kind of get rid of that keyboard. So like right around 
there is where I'll end an ending transition to get rid of it. And then went to the part where it actually loads right here. Got rid of it. And then I added a transition so that uh, these things became the new phone. So added an action. Rotate. And so now that's the new phone. And I do it in and out. So it looks like this when it's all done. And I can make that transition a little bit longer. And so forth. And so I just kind of keep going along with it until it ends up a nice polished little video. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to email me.